hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'd like to talk to you about the importance of camera calibration um, setting in lightroom this is something that seems relatively small i actually didn't know about it being self-taught i never really read up much about you know lightroom and stuff and um, it did change my workflow quite drastically and improved my, my images quite drastically so i just want to kind of show you so this is the image just as it was imported from um, the camera straight to lightroom so basically um, as you see the image looks good but what i noticed is there's always like a dark um, vignette around the photos uh, when i import and there is also they are never as colorful and they never have the right kind of um, color so like they would look one way on the camera and then they would look completely different in Lightroom and I always wondered why it was but it was only recently when I shot with a few black models it was kind of very apparent that the colors were completely different so I did a bit of digging and I found out about camera calibration which as I said I knew the setting was there but I just never really used it so here it is um, the image as it is you know just Adobe standard um, profile there is uh, no uh, lens correction anything like that so what i'm going to do i'm going to import it to photoshop so we have this image here now i'm going to go back to lightroom and apply what i usually apply nowadays so i'm going to do a profile correction which as you see brightens the image on the corners and it kind of stretches it out a bit because it kind of balances the distortion that the lens causes you can even increase the vignetting here and then I'm going to go and pick camera standard and you can see straight away how much difference it makes to the image it's such a small little adjustment but it makes you start up with a much stronger image straight away there's also different ones you can do camera faithful which is usually the kind of uh, the most accurate um, colors that the camera has then I sometimes use camera portrait but I find it can be quite reddish so I don't really use it that much so for this uh, one I'm going to go with camera standard and I'm going to import it into Photoshop as well and what I'm going to do next I'm going to grab both images and I'm going to apply exactly the same adjustments into each and one of them and you will see the difference in the final images and the quality of the final images as you see the difference is quite big the colors are completely different um, the model has a beautiful kind of golden brown on this photo and here it's just kind of meh there isn't really much color there isn't really much anything going on um, there is a slight distortion in the lens which I don't mind that much but it's mainly about the color uh, of the image because you know when you get uh, when you get a different camera I worked on Nikon a lot and now I'm working on Canon and um, the, one of the main things that I love about Canons is their, is their colors. But every single time I put an image into Lightroom, the colors were never as nice as they were in the camera. So um, that kind of changes quite a lot for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a few simple adjustments that I would usually think that uh, were kind of appropriate for the image. So I might brighten it a bit and then add a bit more shadows, just a tiny bit. And then maybe add a little contrast curve. Okay. And then maybe I'll just co color correct it a tiny bit. I don't want to add too much black, but I feel like it would be beneficial to add a tiny little bit. Okay, so let me put it into a group. So this is what we did. As you see, we didn't do as much. Um, it was all just very simple um, contrast adjustments, but it did do quite a bit. It just, you know, kind of uh, made the blacks a bit stronger. Um, you know, like it made her skin nice and glowy. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this image um, adjustment from from the image that i just did and i'm going to put it on the unbalanced image or the one that has the adobe profile on it and as you see 
one next to each other it's just not the same it's you know the colors aren't bad um it definitely added some contrast and stuff but it definitely doesn't give you this rich tone that you need and and the highlights look a bit stronger in this one so in general i feel like this is something that's so small and i didn't know f about it for such a long time and it changes so much then at the same time i did do similar adjustments on a nikon image and unfortunately the nikon colors are not as good in photoshop here is a Nikon image, um, again on Adobe Standard, and as you see, if I do go to Camera Standard, which is the same as Canon, it actually doles out all the highlights, which I find quite weird. Um, then again, if I go into Camera Neutral, it just makes everything very grey, but the, the highlights are still kind of dulled. Adobe Standards br brings out the highlights, um, so I feel like it's the most beneficial for Nikon, for the camera I had anyway. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, I know it's a small little thing and I know probably a lot of people did know about it. As I said, because I was self-taught, I personally didn't, so I feel like this might help those people that didn't really, you know, read up too much about using Lightroom and so on. Um, I've never been too technical, I've always been kind of, you know, more hands-on when it comes to work. So I find like this makes quite a bit of a difference. So let me know what you think, uh, let me know if you knew about it, uh, and if you didn't know about it, if it did make a difference for your photography. Um, it definitely did a mass massive difference for mine, it definitely improved my colors um, and everything, so I think it's definitely something that it's worth looking into. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week.